See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. Well, Lewis, that was a bit of a test to come down here and play against Bath, uh, full-strength side, but it was a good contest. Yeah, you know, a lot of young boys out there. Um, we had the belief in ourselves. All week training has been really good. And uh, to come here and put 30 points on the Bath side like that, which I don't think anyone expected us to do, was a great effort from all lads, you know, 1-22. One, one Great effort to start the game, fired straight down that uh, side, and, and we were short. Did you did you touch down or were you, or were you just short? Uh, yes, yeah, I did touch down. Yeah, definitely. Always going to claim it. Um, but you know, start a game after that, it's nothing. It's, you know, confidence, massive, massive confidence boost to start the game to do that. And you could see that that rocked the bass side because I don't know what they were expecting when they came out, but Gloucester took it to them right from the off. Yeah, that, that was our main main game. You know, shock them yeah, was was our game plan, and to come out and do that straight away, put them under the post, put them under pressure. You know, they're five points behind. So it gets, you know, gets into their heads a bit. I can imagine at half time it wasn't a case of the idea, well done, or you should do it quite well. I would imagine that it was a question of, listen, you know, keep your heads on and concentrate because a couple of little slips here have let them in. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. It's a couple of silly mistakes which we, you know, we were annoyed about as a team. But at half time it was more just, you know, we're actually in this. You know, let's, let's go out, do as much as we can, and um, you know, score 30 points, which is what we did in the end. A big week for guys like you. I mean, you, you mix in, you come in and mix in with the squad, and it looks like when the, when a Gloucester team like that takes the field, there's no there's no element of uh, you know us and them. Everybody's in it together. A very supportive set of guys for preparation all week. Yeah, we're, you know, we're a big squad. Uh, we shows in that game. We've got strength and depth, and all, you know, credit to all the first team, you know, usual starters. They've trained against us all week and made us play how we need to play to beat Bath, which has helped us a lot, and it showed that in the game today. When you guys sit down, uh, maybe let you have a look at the video tomorrow. Uh, do the youngsters, you, do you get together and pick apart your own games or, do, or are you very into you, you, you sit away and uh, think about what you've done and built for the next one? We, we all go in, all have analysis, there'll be individual analysis, team analysis and um, that, that goes on Monday, like you say, and we'll all do that together and as individuals to go for a game and see what we can improve on and what we've done well. Great support from the players in the squad. Well, what a fantastic following from the Gloucester supporters here today. Yeah, it always happens, doesn't it? You know, come down here, support the boys. They've probably seen the team and thought, you know, young lads, show them, you know, we showed them a bit of, you know, we enjoyed ourselves. Went out there, played a bit of rugby and, yeah, it was brilliant. And that's got to, I mean, if, when you're at the early stages of your career, you know how difficult things are going to be, but when you get a taste, when you get a flavour like that, that surely has got to be the biggest motivating factor you can possibly get. Yeah, it's amazing to, to get out there and play a bit of rugby and actually play like we did. Had the ball for large periods of time. It was brilliant, yeah.